Hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. So today what we're gonna try to do is recreate the entire solar system just from memory. So here is the solar system. This just loads up when you start Universe Sandbox. So I'm gonna take one last good look at it before trying to recreate it all from memory. And we're not gonna use any of the actual planets. I'm gonna have to create them too. So get a good look here. I'm gonna try to get the distances and everything correct. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so here's a new simulation. So obviously we're gonna wanna start with the sun and we're not just gonna put the sun in because that would be too easy. So we're gonna start with a random known star and we can kind of cheat with this one just because it shows our mass relative to the sun. And this one's actually 1.00 suns, which is actually pretty rare. So if it's already the mass of one sun, I guess we can just leave this one. So that was pretty lucky and we're gonna name it sun. So now we're gonna go just through all the planets and I'm gonna try to do the moons too or what I can remember of them. We're gonna start with Mercury. So we're actually going to start with a random rocky planet. And I don't know. I feel like Mercury's this far, maybe. And I know Mercury is like gray and kind of looks like the moon. So we can actually do that. And the size too. So it can compare it to the moon's mass. I know it's a little bit bigger than the moon. So we're going to go maybe 1.5 times mass of our moon. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll show you guys on screen the actual mass of certain things so you know. And we're going to change our visuals too so we can kind of get it to look like Mercury. So this crater texture is already pretty good. I feel like it's a little bit darker. Maybe here. A little more contrast. Okay, that looks pretty close to Mercury, I would say. And we want our interface color to be gray. Okay, <laughs> now let's go to Venus. So. Venus is very similar in size to Earth. I know that. So we're going to do random rocky planet. Um, I'm going to guess here. Name it Venus. So Venus's surface is very orange and kind of similar to this, I would say. But it has a super thick atmosphere. So we're going to add an atmosphere. We're going to go, I don't know, 20 Earth's mass. So t the pressure on Venus, on this Venus, is going to be 20 times the pressure of Earth. And we want our mass to be, I feel like it's slightly smaller than Earth. So we're gonna go 0.97. Um, I don't know for sure on that one though. We do want our surface to be sort of like that. I'm gonna change the colors a tiny bit. I think we want a different base. That, that looks like Venus, I would say. And I feel like the mass is pretty close. Probably about here. Okay, and then with our atmosphere, it actually looks like this right now. And I know its atmosphere is like slightly yellow green ish like that okay so let's check our temperature now i know venus is going to be very hot so let's set our average temperature i think it's like 400 celsius so we're going to set it there i think we're doing okay so far i feel like the gas giants with all of their moons and stuff is where it's going to get a little bit harder earth so i'm pretty confident i can do earth pretty well i know it's one au away from its star which can be right here i feel like we maybe put venus too far out um i don't know so this is Earth. This is going to be Earth. I mean, right now it doesn't really look like Earth. Earth. Mass, one Earth. Radius, one Earth. And that'll put our ratio of iron to silicate correct. Okay. So now to make this Earth, we're going to want to go to our... We could cheat. I'm not going to, but I'm saying we could put the map as Earth. And then we would just have this Earth map. You can see there's Australia and stuff, but we're not going to do that because that's kind of cheap. So we're just going to use these randomly generated ones and try to find one that looks similar to Earth. It's kind of hard to tell. We're going to have to add some water to it. Okay, maybe a different one. Okay, I think we're going to go with this one. It kind of has one big super continent, but I think that's kind of the best we're going to get. So we're going to go with that for our Earth. We're going to definitely want an atmosphere. So let's throw an atmosphere on here one Earth's atmosphere. Should be pretty easy because a lot of things are in relation to Earth. So it's kind of cheating like that because I don't know the actual like levels. And then we're gonna want vegetation and city lights on. So we can see city lights in the background. Perfect. And let's check our life likelihood. 81.1%. Okay, perfect. Let's make sure one day is 24 hours. 24 hours. Perfect, and that should bring it up a tiny bit more. Yeah, 93.1, so this is actually very Earth-like. Let's do our interface color. Awesome, okay. So now that we have Earth, we're gonna wanna do Earth's moon. So the moon. So we're gonna pause time for now, and we're gonna do random moon, and we're gonna put it, I wanna say this far away. I feel like that's pretty close. No, it's definitely further. 
Because all of the planets can fit between Earth and the moon. I'm going to say this far. Okay, that's how far we're going to guess. And we can kind of cheat with this one too by going one moon mass and make the radius the same as the moon. Perfect. Okay, so this is identical in size to the moon. Now we just need to change some of the visuals. I know already we're going to want these to be more white and gray. Be a little bit lighter. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's looking like the moon. I really actually like that. So I think that's what we're going to do for the moon. Let's take a look at that from our Earth. Look up at the sky. Where is it? The moon. That looks kind of small. I'm just going to leave it. So I actually think we're doing pretty good so far on our system. So next is Mars, the red planet. So I do know that Mars is about the a third of the size of Earth. I do not know how far away it is. I'm going to guess right here. I honestly have no idea. I feel like it's a little closer. We're going to go a little bit closer on that one. Here. Here it is. Okay, that's not Mars. That's a really cool looking planet just right now, though. So we're going to put our mass at 0.34 Earths, which should put it about the third of the size of Earth. And then we actually want our radius to be about that size, too. Okay, so this is pretty much a third of Earth. And we're going to want to make it have no water or just like very little water. So have, yeah, have these ice caps, but then have a tiny bit less water. So the ice caps are a little bit smaller. Okay, it should have some ice caps on there. And I do know that our atmosphere looks a lot thick. It looks very thick, but we're not going to want that. Can we, is there a Mars? Map? Oh, there is. Okay, this is kind of like cheating too, but there is, there's actually a setting for Mars atmosphere. So we're just going to set it on that. Oh, that's like super thin. You can't even see it. There we go. Okay, I turned it up a tiny bit just so we can kind of see it. And it's going to have like a red tint to it. Okay, also we're going to want our surface to be a lot more red than this. But it's like orangish red. It's not like a perfect red. I feel, I feel like it needs to be a tiny bit more red. There we go. Okay. I actually do like the way that's looking. We're going to name it Mars. Give it a red interface color. Okay, Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos. I know that Phobos is slightly bigger and is closer, so we're actually gonna do a random asteroid because they're not big at all. They're pretty close too. I feel like we're gonna do this as Phobos, Phobos, and then we're gonna have another one as Deimos. Um, I don't know why it's making it tilted like that. We're just gonna leave it. Okay, so here's my Mars, Phobos and Deimos versus the real Mars, Phobos and Deimos. Okay, okay, that's it for the rocky planets. So next we're gonna have the asteroid belt and then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So if you guys wanna see the rest of this solar system made from memory, go ahead and leave a like on this video. If we get 2,500 likes, 2,500 likes, we will do a part two to this series if you guys think it's interesting. Also, if you guys want to see me try to put like the James Webb Space Telescope or like any of those things in the system where I think they would be, let me know in the comments down below. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.